Hello, welcome back to Blue Harvest Toys. On today's video, I'm going to be doing something that I've been planning to do for a while. And as you know, over the last few years, I've been trying to get the 96 figures of the vintage Star Wars. And to be honest with you, I have not really documented what I have bought, only on the Star Wars tracker. And some of it, I cannot remember when I bought it, but I come up with some kind of explanation. We've got Joey on, on board with us now, the Badawan Collector, and he's doing an excellent job on his channel, showing every figure he's buying from the beginning to the end. And I kind of wish I'd have done that now. I simply didn't do it because I, it's more, it was more like a personal experience for me. I didn't really think I was going to get the whole run to when I first started. I was going to start doing the first 12. That is what I initially thought. I knew how much it was going to cost me, so I didn't expect to get the full run. I'll be honest with you there. I expected to get the first 12, and maybe get a few of the, the other ones, which I did all along the way. And you'll find out what path it took me on getting these. And um, hopefully it might help you out along with your journey if you are doing it as well. Even if you even if you've you've got the 96, hopefully it might be entertaining. But it's interesting anyway just to see what the prices were two years ago, let alone when we first bought them in 1978-79. So this video, as I say, is just going to be a run through of what I've collected, recollected in the last two years. It's still an ongoing battle i have got the full 96 but i just need the accessories we'll talk about that a bit as well but it just hopefully it will help just to know that you can buy these figures cheaply you don't have to spend a fortune just be patient don't break the bank and enjoy yourselves i'll we'll start off with weekway which i got on the 13th of the 6th 2019 i got it for five pound and I will try to remember where I do buy all these figures. And I think I must have got this from Facebook. And as you can see, it's now worth £12.16. On to Leia Hoth now. And as you can see in the pictures, the next two actually came from the same seller on eBay. Leia costs £31 and it's currently going for £119.99. They were both sold on the 21st of the 6th, 2099. And Luke went for £23 and is now valued at £95.36p. Imperial Stormtrooper next, also sold on the 21st of the 6th, and that was bought for £19, and now has a value of £34.95p. Next we have IG-88 from the same seller on the same day, 21st of the 6th, and this was sold for £23, and the current valuation is £24.1p. Next up we have Ben Kenobi. Yes, same day, 21st of the 6th, 2019, and I bought that for £32. And the current valuation on that is more than doubled. That's £69.64p. Next up, we've got Yoda bought a couple of days later for £29.45. The extra cost of £3.25. That would have been the postage. And again, that was from eBay, but it was incomplete at that price. So the current valuation on that without the stick is £56.2p. Next up is Chewbacca. Again, bought on the 23rd of the 6th, 2019 on ebay for £10.50 uh, the current valuation on that is £20.18 next we have Darth Vader bought for £18 on the 26th of the 6th 2019 the extra shipping costs were £2.99 and the current valuation is £41.39 next up is Leia Endor I bought this at Cosmic Toys back on the 29th of the 6th 2019 for £50 complete it seemed like a lot back then, which it kind of was, but it's now got a current value of £67.5p. Lobot is next, also bought at Cosmic Toys for £10 on the 29th of the 6th. Notice the cost on these, the best thing about finding them in the wild is no shipping costs. The current valuation is £16. Another figure that came from Cosmic Toys was the Gamorrean Guard, bought on the 29th of the 6th, 2019, for £8. The current value for a uh, complete Gamorrean Guard is £16.41. Next up we have the cute little Jawa. Bought a day later on the 30th of the 6th 2019 for £27.20. Back when you could get eBay shipping for a pound. The current price for the little fella is £42.97. Next is R5D4 which I bought for £14.27 on the 4th of the 7th 2019. 
postage cost me £3.50 and the current value is £35.48p. Next up is Lando Carrizian, bought for £10.50 on the 6th of the 7th 2019 on eBay. Extra cost, postage £3. Current value £25.45. Next we have the Snow Trooper, bought for £10 on the 13th the 7th now it does say private and uh, there was no extra costs for shipping or anything like that so i'm assuming that i did buy this in a shop or an antique place or something like that but the current value is 32 pound 49 next we have the atst driver which i am still not completed still need that blaster for him and i did get him for five pound with no extra costs and it does say private so it was on the same date as the snow troop but i th i'm i'm thinking that i did get these as a job lot to be honest with you and the current value is 20 pound 50. next we have the luke skywalker jedi knight with the green saber which i got for 49 pound on the 18th of the 7th it does have the snap cape which I got later on as a gift. It must have been free postage as there's no extra cost and it was bought from eBay. And this is another figure that has doubled in value at £104.3p. The next figure is... Oh, I don't know what his name is. Is it Bob, Boba Fett? Boba Fett, yes. So we'll go for that one. 1999. Now this, uh, if you see the picture, that is a Taiwan Boba Fett which I did buy it initially. I do prefer the light to colouring of the Taiwan Boba Fett over the Hong Kong one, but I did find a mint Hong Kong one for £19.99 on eBay on the 18th of the 7th. Extra cost of £2.30, but the value now is £51. Next we have R2-D2 with sensor scope, bought on eBay on the 18th of the 7th, 2019 for £10. It was free shipping, and the value is currently £33.62. Next we have large head Han. I've never owned a small head Han. And that was bought for £19.99 on the 20th of the 7th. Again at eBay with free shipping. And the current value is £44.26p. Next up is a figure that I have spent the most on. And for good reason, it's one of my favourite figures. That is the pop-up lightsaber R2-D2. Which I bought for £250. The extra cost of the shipping was £4. That was bought on eBay on the 24th of the 7th, 2019. But as you can see, the price has almost doubled at £460 at the moment. Next, we have something a little less cheaper. is the Rebel Soldier Hoth Battle Gear. I uh, bought for £10 on the 25th of the 7th on eBay. There was no extra cost, so it must have been free shipping. And that is currently valued at £14.89. Next is the Death Squad Commander. Bought for £9.50 on the 25th of the 7th. From eBay, with no extra costs. And that is now valued at £30.99p. Next up, we have one of the last 17. And it's the cheapest of the last 17. Because I got this at £8.87p from eBay on the 25th of the 7th with no extra costs and the value on that has shot up to £34.95 Next we have C3PO bought for £7.50 with £2.50 extra costs from eBay on the 3rd of the 8th 2019 His current value is £27.7p Next we have Klaatu in a skiff guard outfit bought for £15 on the 23rd of the 8th This was possibly bought on Echo Base as there's no extra cost and the shipping price is in with it with the price of the figure and the current value of Klaatu is £25. Next we have everyone's favourite cantina alien, Hammerhead. This I bought for £6. You can see the extra costs are £10 which is meaning that the figure came without the blaster and the blaster cost £10 to make it complete. Again this was bought on Echo Base on the 23rd of the 8th 2019. Current value for Hammerhead £19.62. Next we have Sam People which I bought for £22 and the extra cost was well, £3 for shipping from eBay on the 3rd of the 11th 2019. The current valuation is £33.92p. Next we have Leia Bespin, bought for £10, yes £10. No extra costs from eBay on the 4th of the 11th 2019 and her current value is £74. The next figure I do have four of all different coloured hairs but the one I'm going for is the one I've got complete, the yellow hair, which was £23, bought from eBay on the 4th of the 11th, 2019, and its current value is £48.28p. Next up is another look, the X-Wing Pilot, 
which I bought for £15 with no extra cost from eBay on the 13th of the 11th 2019. Here's current value £27. Low Grace Next bought for £7 on Facebook on the 28th of the 11th 2019. His current value is £36.36p. Wow. The next figure, a Princess Leia Organa, has got a long backstory. But I'm just going to go with the £50 sale with £2.90 extra costs. Again, bought from eBay on the 30th of the 11th, 2019. It does say complete, but I have since lost the black blaster. But I do have a blue one that replaces it, so I still need, really need the black blaster to complete that. But. We'll call it complete since she has a blue one. And her current price is £94.6p. Next up is the Emperor, which I bought for £11 on the 7th of the 2nd, 2020. His current value is £16. Next is Zuckus, bought for £8 on eBay on the 11th of the 2nd, 2020. He will currently set you back at £24.3p. Dingas next, £8 from eBay on the 11th of the 2nd, with no extra costs. And his current value is £13.16p. Next is a Bosk at £8 on the 11th of the 2nd from eBay. I do seem to recall getting a job lot of the bounty hunters from one seller. And Bosk's current value is £18.58p. Next we have the Imperial TIE Fighter Pilot. Bought for £13 on the 13th of the 2nd 2020. And his current value is £29.50. Next is the Cloud Car Pilot. Bought for £20 on the 13th of the 2nd 2020. I remember buying these on Facebook, probably a co-base, but there are other groups out there. And that one is currently selling for £64.83p, just because of that communicator. Next we have Fallon, bought for £10. Bought from eBay, and the extra costs are now kicking in. £3.90, sold on the 28th of the 2nd at 2020. And Fallon's value is £24.25p. Next is Lando Skiffguard, bought for £10. X cross £3.90 again from eBay on the 8th of the 3rd, 2020. The current valuation is £19.99p. Next we have the Attack Driver, bought for £10, with the X cross £2. Bought from Facebook on the 14th of the 3rd, 2020. His current value is £16.95. Next we have Walrus Man, bought for £5, but as you can see the extra was £5 simply because it was bought from the United States on the 19th of the 3rd 2020 and his current value is £19.75 next is Han Hoff bought for £12 again from the United States extra cost £6 simply because I am splitting the shipping down between each figure and that was bought on the 19th of the 3rd 2020 and Han is now worth £19.14p next is Power Droid bought for £20 no extra costs with shipping because it was bought, bought on Facebook on the 23rd of the 3rd, 2020. And its current value is £21.92p. Next we have the Attack Commander, bought for £8.20. And the extra costs are £1.50. Uh, bought on the 25th of the 3rd, 2020 from eBay. Its current value is £19.27. Next we have FX7, bought for £7.70. On the 28th of the 3rd, 2020 from eBay. No extra costs, and he now goes for £11.06p. Next is Rebel Commando, bought for £20. Now this was a graded figure. Um, I did smash it out of its grading prison. <laughs> uh, the no extra costs, no postage. It was bought from a seller on Facebook on the 11th of the 4th, 2020. And its current value is £21.82p. Next we have Snaggletooth, bought for £21, no extra costs on the 15th of the 4th, 2020, from Facebook. His current value is £21.38p. Next up is Greedo, not in a Speedo, which I bought for £25, no extra costs, and this was bought on Facebook on the 20th of the 4th, 2020, and his current price is £26.90p. Next is Ninenum, bought for £8 from the United States on the 30th of the 4th, 2020. His current value is £16.55p. Next up is another figure bought in the United States, is Bib Fortuna. And this was bought for £5 on the 30th of the 4th, 2020. His value is now £18. Next is a Best Bingard Black, bought again for £5 in the United States on the 30th of the 4th, 2020. His value is now £23.2p. 
Han Solo Best Spin is next, bought for £14, no it's a cost, from eBay, on the 1st of the 5th, 2020. His current worth is £25.13p. Removable Limbs C3PO is next, £21, bought from eBay on the 3rd of the 5th, 2020. You can see it's 100% banned, simply because it's in the baggy. His current value is £43.24p. Next is the Rebel Commander, bought for £5. Extra cost £1.50 for shipping from eBay from the 3rd of the 5th, 2020. His value is now £15.30p. 21B is next. I bought it for £10. This cost was £4.10 for shipping from eBay. Bought on the 5th of the 5th, 2020. He is now worth £23.81p. Next is Luke Skywalker Hoth. Bought for £12 from Facebook on the 9th of the 5th, 2020. His current value is £16.94p. Next is Han Solo in Carbonite. I got it for £65. Absolute bargain. And that was on the 17th of the 5th, 2020. And that was on Echo Base, so I had to be in quick to get that. I probably even didn't think about it, I just claimed it. <laughs> and that current value is £177.33p. I can remember those going for £75 every day. Next is the Ugnaught, which I bought for £12 from Facebook again on the 23rd of the 5th, 2020. And its current value is £25.25p. Next up, Rancor Keeper. Bought for £12 on the 17th of the 6th, 2020 from eBay. His current value is £29.95p. Next we have Pruneface. Bought for £12 from eBay on the 17th of the 6th, 2020. And wow, his current value is £59.58p. Next is Princess Leia in Bush Disguise. £12. On the 17th of 6, 2020, from eBay. Her current value is £33.18p. Imperial Commander is next for £12 from eBay on the 17th of 6, 2020. And its current value is £33.99p. Next is 8D8 for £12 on the 17th of 6, 2020, from eBay. I think these must be in a job lot. If I look back on the videos on my channel, I probably can find an unboxing of them. And this is actually one of the few figures that has actually gone down to £10.87 in value. Next up is Klaatu, for free, and I received that on the 1st of the 8th, 2020, and its current value is £14.17p. Next up is the Best Bin Guard White, and I got this from Australia, from Usual Mike. So that didn't cost me anything, and its current value is £12.17p. Next we have Tebow, which I bought for £5, from eBay on the 22nd of the 8th, 2020, and his current value is £29.45p. Next is Chief Turper, bought for £5 from eBay on the 22nd of the 8th, 2020. His current value is £17.3p. Next is the B Wing Pilot, bought for £5 from eBay on the 22nd of the 8th, 2020. His current value is £46.50p. Admiral Lackbar is next, bought for £5 from eBay on the 22nd of the 8th. 2020 again probably in a job lot and its current value is 14 pound 15p next is endohan both 25 pound from ebay on the 24th of the 8th 2020 his current value is 50 pound 91p squid head is next both five pound on the 26th of the 8th 2020 from ebay and his current value is 25 pounds next up is riggies both five pounds the extra costs were eight pound to get his rifle, and I bought that on the 26th of the 8th, 2020. And his current value is £14.39p. Nikto is next, and which was another gift, so that was nothing. Since recording this, I have bought his staff for £26, so extra costs should be £26. Yes, I know, £26 for a staff. But usually about £30 anyway. And I got him on the 26th of the 8th, 2020. It does say the valuation is £7.93 there, but I have just checked the tracker and it's saying £18.15p. Next is Paplo, which I got for £17. It cost us £2.42p. I don't have the staff for him, so he's not complete. I bought him on off eBay from on the 31st of the 8th, 2020. So his valuation is without the staff and it is £40.50. 50p. Next is Lumat and he went for £12.50 and the extra cost of £1.78. I have added those two together because those two came as a job lot from eBay on 31st of the 8th 2020. I did receive his accessories in a trade so I, didn't, I haven't put that in, in the tracker but the valuation is now £108.44p. These Ewoks are coming thick and fast now. We've got Wicket 
the best of the Ewoks, surely. Uh, got him for £25. No extra costs. And I got him on the 2nd of the 9th, 2020. And his current valuation is £44.95. Next is the Emperor's Royal Guard, which I received as a gift on the 3rd of the 9th, 2020. And his current worth is £29.99p. General Median was picked up on eBay for £10 on the 13th of the 9th, 2020. It does say incomplete, which is incorrect, so I have had to update it because I did get the staff. So I've put extra costs at, at £10, and the value is now £17.99p. Luke Skywalker Poncho is another figure I was gifted from the United States. So it didn't cost me a thing, I got it on the 29th of the 9th, 2020. It does say incomplete because it's only missing its blaster. So it, has, it is valued as incomplete, so it is £110.50p. Next, we have the Imperial Dignitary. It does say sale price £21, but I did swap this with somebody on Facebook for a Solid Dome R2-D2, which cost me £21. Hence, the sale price of £21. I got that on the 20th of the 2nd, 2021, and the current value is £99.43p. Well worth the £21 Solid Dome R2 I swapped for it. Next is a Death Star Droid, which was an upgrade for one I bought earlier. It cost me £18, but it was a lot better condition than the one I had. It was bought on the 20th of the 2nd, 2021, and the current value is £20.48p. Next is Luke in Stormtrooper Disguise. Yes, I got it given for me for a birthday present from Mr. Mando. That's why it says 22nd of the 2nd, 2021. I am blown away by everybody who sends me stuff, but this was absolutely amazing. And the current valuation is £257.11p. And if not for that gift, I probably would be still waiting for that figure. Next up is another Ewok Rumba, which is also incomplete. Got it for £45, extra cost £2.50 from Facebook, 23rd of the 2nd, 2021. And its incomplete valuation is £73.48p. Next is Lando General, which is also incomplete. I need the blaster for that one. Got it for £75 with £2.50 extra costs on the 23rd of the 2nd, 2021. And even though it's incomplete, it's still worth £125. Next is Biker Scout. I don't know why it took me so long to buy the Biker Scout. It's one of my favourite figures. £20 from Facebook on the 25th of the 2nd, 2021. And that now goes for £27.29. So next we have the Solid Dome R2-D2. I got to replace the one that I'd swapped for the Imperial Dignitary. It cost me £20, which was about the same as I bought the last one. It's not as good condition, unfortunately. As you can see, 60 band. I bought it on Facebook on the 11th of the 3rd 2021 and I will be looking for an upgrade on that one and the valuation on that is £26. The next four I got as a job lot from Australia. First up is the Imperial Gunner for £75. Got on the 23rd of the 3rd 2021. I don't need his blaster but his value is £124.98p. Next up is EV99. Again for £75 on 23rd of the 3rd, 2021. It says 60 band, which is a bit harsh because the arms do come off, but they do on all the, all the EV figures. It's perfectly fine. I'm not going to be looking for an upgrade on that figure because I love the figure. And its value is £257 and 1p, even though it doesn't have any accessories. It's plainly because it's so fragile. Next, we have a Man Man, again for £75 on the 23rd of the 3rd. 2021 and the value on him is 195 pounds next we have the air wing pilot which i have incomplete i need that blaster i got it for 75 pound again from 23rd of the 3rd 2021 and he's worth 91 pound 28p without that blaster next up is the infamous yak face it does say incomplete but we did get them incomplete in this country it is a 90 band which is a really good grade on that um, it did cost me 220 pounds and if it wasn't for a friend getting it for me, I would probably still be looking for it, to be honest with you. He let me pay him uh, in instalments, so that's how I got that. And that's why I spent that much on a yak face. I'll be honest with you, I did buy one right at the beginning when I first started collecting again. But I did sell it because I didn't like it. I don't like that figure. But also you need it to get your full 96. And he's currently worth £226.85p. Next up is Warwick. He again is incomplete. My poor Ewoks. £60.50p I paid for him. 
Eggs cost to £3. I bought that on eBay on the 22nd of the 5th, 2021. He is currently worth £103. And the final figure I needed to collect for the 96 was Barada. £74. Not bad with staff. Uh, on the 4th of the 7th, 2021. So not long ago on Facebook. I think I got tagged in that by somebody. And again, it's probably a bit more than I'd usually pay. But to finish the loose run, I pulled the trigger. And his value has gone up in that short time to £117.98p. I did pick another Luke Jedi up that has a blue saber and a sewn cape for £65. It actually came with a card as well on the 20th of the 8th, 2021 from Facebook. And the value on that is £65. I did recently pick up the size Nautils Max Rebo band for £50 at Cosmic Toys on the 2nd of the 10th, 2021. Now I do need the flute and the two microphone stands for it, so it's not complete. And the value on that is £81.68p. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed that that journey through my collecting my vintage Star Wars figures. As I said, it's not complete. They're not complete. I need to find a few accessories. Let me know what you want. Leave it in the comments below. What you're looking for. And we can help we we can all help each other. We can all help each other. And if if you've got doubles or something, somebody else might want that. You, they might have something you want. Swap deals. That's what I want to do. So please leave a list in the description below, in the comments below. And we can help each other out. I've really enjoyed collecting these. They have helped me through some bad times the last couple of years. Um, some, people, some of you might know my circumstances and things like that but uh, it's the little bits of plastic like this that has really helped me through some really bad times I suppose there were mental health issues but I don't want to go into that we're just talking about these little fellas these lovely little fellas and um, here to enjoy them don't be ashamed don't be ashamed of collecting. Don't let anybody tell you not to collect. And don't let anybody bully you. Don't let anybody say what you're doing that for. Do what makes you happy. That's all that matters. Make yourself happy. Life is too short. Oh, that bombshell. Thank you for watching. I'm in the toys. Be with you.